All right, so let's move on and let's go to some more advanced editing techniques. Let's go to the inspector tool. So the inspector is a powerful tool for making detailed adjustments to individual clips in the timeline. Let's say I want to select this video and right up here you see transform. So first you need to enable it to use it. And here you can play around with the zoom function. If you double click here, you are back to the normal setting. You can change the position of your video clip. Double click and you're back in normal position. You can rotate your video. You can change the anchor point. And you can do a pitch and a jaw. Oh. You can even flip your video. This is a very helpful function and you can make it look upside down. So this is all possible in the transform setting. Then you have cropping, you crop your image. Okay, so let's say I want to crop it until here and I want to crop the right. Then I want to crop the top a little bit and the bottom. And I want to give a bit of a softness to the look, to the edges. You can do that in the cropping setting. So if you double click on it, it's back to normal or you hit this arrow key and everything is back to normal again. Then we have dynamic zoom. We already discussed this. Then we have composite mode and composite mode is a really cool mode because you can change the opacity of your video. So what is the opacity? Now the opacity is 100%. So you see my video fully 100%. But if I move this all the way to the left, you see it will be softer, softer. And if I put it all the way back to zero, you don't see the video again. If you double click on it, you can see it fully 100% again. You can also um, decide to be more creative with this. They will give you a few options. Usually I only use the opacity function. 